Hey you beautiful people welcome back to a new video on our channel Read Travel Become Ever since the launch of this book was announced I was extremely excited and intrigued as to how this comedian is going to write a book The book that I'm talking about is Acts of God by Kanan Gill which has been recently released It took me 2 days to finish this book and in this video I'm going to talk about what the book is about what are the plot points how is it written what is the genre of this book whatever you need to know about this book I'm going to share it in this book I'm going to also share what my reading experience was i i feel reading is a very subjective experience so i wouldn't tell it to you guys if you should pick it up or not but i'm going to share what i felt about the book whether this book matched my expectations or not and all of the good stuff right so make sure you watch the video till the end you may never know which thought or fact may resonate with you and change the course of your life so let's get started So Kanan Gill always has been one of my favorite stand-up comics especially in the Indian circuit. His jokes, his humor is very existential. He's dark in his overall uh, world view and it's very very funny and it's super intelligent. Like Your Sincerely on Netflix is one of my all-time favorite stand-ups. I watched it multiple times till date and it's one of my favorite things to watch by Kanan Gill. When I started reading this book, I got this feeling that now Kanan has basically let his mind loose. Whatever was coming to his mind, whatever he thinks things about little things be it politics be it science be it philosophy be it a random kebab donor be it a random building a cloud an alien whatever he thought of he is just put in his his world building into all of these elements his humor is unleashed basically in this particular one because again it's a book so let's start about what this book is about acts of god is a science fiction funny novel uh, the genre is science fiction the story is centered around one particular technologist scientist uh, called dr k whose full name is dr krishna they living in the future Uh, this doctor along with some of his colleagues uh, Nat- Natalie and Dr Root and some other people have figured out a way to simulate worlds they have figured out a way to simulate different universes and also tweak those universes to see how things work so basically they are playing god for these lower reality universes and the doctor finds out that whenever he is doing a simulation of this lower reality all of the simulations end at a specific time what that time is you have to read the book for that and he has found out that in all of his simulations there's one character called P Manjunath he always has an idea that something wrong is happening he basically is becoming aware that something is wrong and maybe he's controlled by some external thing some external universe so this character P Manjunath also has a friend and associate called Heng and there's also a writer who joins them on their journey in these universes so that is essentially the plot there's a cat and mouse tale between these two universes uh that's essentially the plot talking anything more than this would give away major plot points let me talk about the good aspects of the book and then we'll talk about the underwhelming aspects of the book let's talk about the good and the great aspects of the book the book is very very smart it's an intelligent read if you are someone who has never read anything in life who wants to start their reading journey with this book don't absolutely don't it's a dense book especially the first 20 30% of the book it takes some time to know what the hell is going on you won't understand what is going on because it's just very quirky the humor that kanan uses is very quirky and the and the elements that he has used you won't find this in most of the novels he has given out a random quiz in between where he is checking if you are uh, able to memorize all of the characters the world building is exquisite so let's say he's talking about one particular setting whenever a scene starts uh, he describes the world building in in utmost detail and when he is doing this detailing he shares his thoughts on what he feels about the world so i didn't find a narrative here but if you love this kind of world building the detail in world building then you would love kanan's style of world building then the whole story is narrated by a wall which i believe is a reference to the fourth wall which is breaking the fourth wall and uh, all through the and all through the book you will find these little nuggets of his philosophy of what he thinks about grief about loss about death about happiness about anything and everything the humor isn't as straight forward as you might expect from a stand up comedy show from him uh, Uh, it's a very different kind of a humor i could you could expect it's a mix of kurt vonnegut uh, douglas adams neil gaiman all of these put together the main difference which i found in kurt vonnegut and kanan gill is i find a lot of similarities by the way but the main difference is uh, kurt vonnegut always had a structure he always binded you to the story i was lost a lot of times while i was reading acts of god and i was just trying to you know put my mind back to the what the plot basically is another great aspect of this book is the last 20 to 30% of the book takes you on a high it basically compels you to ask a lot of questions 
to yourself and just what the idea of living is what exactly god is if somebody is controlling you what is destiny all of these metaphorical things it becomes dense in the end but in a very good way so that was the good aspects of the book let's talk about what aspects didn't resonate with me i am a reader i have been reading a lot of books and i have read a lot of good literature i found that this book is just a profound meditation of kanan's thoughts i just feel that you know he has also talked in his interview with uh, with kenny sebastian on one of his podcasts that how this book was basically coming to him like how it was a spiritual experience for him so i can relate like whatever was coming to his mind he was just writing it down there there are silos in the narrative of the plot like it doesn't hold you uh, that much and then again the humor is like a high level humor i i'm i'm not sure i understand a lot of it i was having a hard time to you know just feel like oh did i get that right or not is it my personal interpretation or maybe it was intention to be that way he has written in a lot of words that you know it can be up to your interpretation whatever he wants to make you out of it uh next the characters i love the character of dr k he seemed to have a lot of depth to him because his past was also covered what he does in you unique situations was also covered and just the gray area of his mind of what is wrong what is right that is being covered but the other characters like p manjunath and his 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 friend i could not relate to those characters at all because they were just too bizarre and too random like the question the conversations they have makes no sense or maybe it was intention that way but the conversations make no sense and they are just very very random weird characters i like some characters like Nat- natalie and and i don't want to give out a lot what happens but there's a good interplay in the in the real world and not the simulated world i was craving to read more about the lower reality world like he calls it i wanted to know more about that world but uh, yeah out and out it's a very kanan esk book if you have been following kanan for a long time you would know how he thinks uh, differently i love that aspect of the book it's a very fresh book you wouldn't have read anything like this before and uh, if you are someone who likes experimenting if you are someone who likes to read different literature who likes to explore different genres then you can definitely pick up this book it's a little long it it drags at the start it's very pacey in the in the mid section uh, uh, it's a breeze to read the mid section and in the end it becomes heavy you can't stop reading but it becomes a little heavy where you are thinking a lot of things and also reading uh, also humor is always there throughout you wouldn't find that the book is becoming too serious at any point of time and i love the little elements that he has given like let's say you are randomly reading a chapter then he randomly asks you what chapter are you reading? reading uh, and you are confused whether it's the 13th chapter or 16th chapter so things like that are very amusing he has randomly talked like oh if you want to skip this chapter skip but i'm going to give out a major plot point on this this chapter so don't skip it so it's very breaking the fourth wall being narrated by a wall that kind of a thing so yes if you are a kanan fan i would highly recommend if you are a kanan fan read this book the best part about the book is when you read the book you read the book in his voice that's that's the that's the differentiating factor for me when it comes to this book. Book. whenever you read the book you imagine kanan is speaking into your mind and because you have seen a lot of his comedy you have seen a lot of his interviews you know how he's talking like whenever he's cracking a joke you can almost feel what he's feeling while cracking that joke so that's a good experience for kanan fans uh, go for it if you are not a reader you would be a tad bit disappointed because me and my friends are actually reading it together and my friends are not readers they haven't read a lot of books and they are not able to like understand what is happening so uh, it it comes from that space So yeah this was these were my thoughts when it comes to act of god please let me know if you have read the book what did you think of the book if you have watched the video till here don't forget to you know comment down below your thoughts and like the video and share this video thank you so much for watching the video and yeah that's all for this video see you in the next one bye bye